This is my little 1971-70 John Deere. No, the engine's still not fixed. I, I've had it coughing and spitting and sputtering. It's got a new head on it right now. It, it, it'll come to life eventually. I'm just having a spark problem with it at the moment. I just haven't given up on it yet. But you ever have those problems with old garden tractors or lawn tractors where you just always have lower flat tires? Well, for those of you who like old motors and pumps like I do, it's this old thing. This is a, I forget what year it is, it's a 19, 1915 century. It's a Type RS, frame M6, one sixth of a horsepower motor. It's a dual voltage, it'll run 110 or 220. And depending on what voltage you run on it, 110 uses 3 amps, 220 uses 1.5. 60 cycles AC, 1,750 RPMs. It's a serial number IH2. There really is no spec number on this particular motor, but it's a repulsion start induction motor, single phase. And it is belted up to a pump I was given by my grandfather when I was real little. The Santee PTC power tire pump. I've never seen another one of these before. This is the only one I know of. It actually has brass valves in there, or bronze valve, I forget what they're made out of, but they're spring-loaded, and here's the bottom part of one of the valves, I doubt you can see it, and if you flip this cover up, you can see the bronze connecting rods in there. And I haven't started this motor up in a long time, but it usually starts up pretty good. I electrically restored it after I bought it off of eBay, because it wasn't running so great had some problems with the starter, so I rewired it. See what happens. Not a problem. Not a problem. I haven't used this old motor in forever. Now we're pumping up the tire. This tire pump probably would have been used uh, to fill up tires in like old trucks and cars. Their tires are known to be pretty bad back around the teens and 20s, and they're always having problems. So a lot of vehicles, higher-end vehicles, even even trucks, like commercial trucks, would have a small air compressor just for pumping up tires if the tire ever went flat. I know Cadillacs were known to have them. Let's see here. Oh, getting there. This is a pretty slow pump. It doesn't put out a high airflow air rate or anything. But this motor's got plenty of power to run it. It never bogs down, never even gets hot. It runs like a champ. I've had this thing for many, many years. It's a great little unit. Let's watch it start up again. This time, I think I'll angle the camera here. Let's see. I don't know if you can really see that or not. In there. You should be able to see the brushes fly back. Not really. We'll try a different angle. Um, I guess this my poor camera work, but there it is. Little bugger. I've got more tire pumps and more motors I'll get to eventually. But this one's my oldest and my rarest and it's my favorite. I've had this tire pump forever and motored for quite a while. Until next time.